So I think uh, what I'm going to do first is the spark plugs, since right now they're pretty easy to get to. Uh, I think I did some things without filming yesterday that I should tell you about. Um, I hooked up the fuel lines, hooked up the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, I ran this um, wiring harness across. This one uh, is the AC pump and the, the alternator. And then it's also got um, the fuel pressure sensor down there. And then if yours has a uh, low oil light, that's where this one this one goes back down in there too. Um, and I'm making use of my tags. I made, you know, a very good idea to do that. So, oh, and this bracket did not go here. It actually went to a, a little hole that was right here but this bracket is from the newer engine and that hole was not was not tapped so I tapped it so that I could put this this bolt in here so I guess the newer engine these these lines route a different way around so it's the kind of stuff I'm running into with mixing and matching parts from the two engines but it's working out so Let's go ahead and get these spark plugs in here. Huh, I just ran into an issue that is completely my fault. Um, as you can see, the header gasket is right up on against the spark plug. But as you can see at the bottom of that uh, gasket, it's got a notch because that gasket supposed to go on the other side the other gasket goes over here I didn't pay attention to that that notch so I am just gonna cut that gasket because I mean there's no need for that there so I'm gonna cut it but yeah that's how it rolls so here's what I did just cut the uh, cut the gasket make room for the, the spark plug um, doesn't mess with the the header seal at all you know but I should have paid attention to the that notch so this solves my problem <laughs> all right all six spark plugs are in one two is behind there three do, 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 do. Four, five, and six is back there. There you go, six. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, oil filter on. Goes right there. Oh, I cut myself. Right there. Put the oil filter on. Cause I really, I really want to get this intake manifold on. But as you remember, I want to get oil on everything in here first so I'm going to put that oil filter on and then I'm going to pop the valve covers off again and uh, put some oil on there and we'll go from there. Alright, got the valve covers off, got the new filter in down there. I ended up having to take the alternator off because it was sticking out just, sticking out just far enough here to stop me from getting this cover off. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, pouring oil all over everything, and then I'll close it back up. Alright, got everything soaked in oil here. I got this side on already. Uh, these bolts just go on um, uh, 12 foot-pounds, so really not much. Uh, and then that's it, then I can start putting the intake manifold on. Sweet! Alright, so I was going to stick the intake manifold on, but I set it on there and I realized once that's on, it covers all of this. I won't be able to, uh, well it'll be difficult to run all this electrical in and get the connectors back there. So I went ahead and, and ran this wiring harness and I'll go over that with you. So. If you didn't label your 
wiring harness. You can maybe follow this and see. So, wiring harness runs through here, in between there, and then here it splits. You got this one goes to the temperature sensor. This one here actually plugs in to this sensor right here. If I can get it with one hand. Uh, and then you got this long one, comes all the way down, and it plugs in, plugs in right there. Uh, and then, let's see, then it runs around here, actually, yeah, we'll do that side. So then it splits, splits off here, goes along this way, Then you got your first fuel injector, Another fuel injector, another fuel injector, and then it wraps around and that plugs to the ignition coil. And back here, temperature sensor. These two come off, those go to the intake manifold. This one also goes to the intake manifold. And then you got your fuel injector plugs. And then those two go to the intake manifold and back here you're gonna have this big one plugs into this big one this circle one plugs into this circle one and you got this circle one and this circle one that your O2 sensors come up to and then this last plug plugs into there which I believe is the um, camshaft position sensor and that is where I ran into a problem because uh, the connectors are different on this as you can see I don't know if you can see that that one is square three prong that one's out of the the old engine I had to put it in here because The new engine one is an oval, so the connectors are different. So if you're doing what I'm doing, you're going to have to swap those out, just so you know. Um, I suppose you probably could just splice the wires and change the connector on the harness, because it was a pain to swap those out with this the lower intake manifold on. Would have been a lot easier if I would have done it before putting that on. So, anyways, I'm going to continue with this wiring harness and then we'll put the intake manifold on. Alright, got all the electrical plugged in there. So now I'm going to put this intake manifold on. Now, there's this spacer and I only got one of them so I don't know if it came from the old engine or the new engine so I already checked the clearance and it's fine so I'm just gonna put it in and uh, so if you're using the spacer like I am it's gonna go gasket spacer gasket uh, if you're not then it's just a gasket so let's put that on All right, intake manifold is on and I went ahead and put the ignition coil pack on. Here's those those two connectors that go to the ignition coil. And it was just two bolts here and then one bolt. Uh, you can see it right there. Goes into the, the header there. Now I need to figure out all these vacuum lines. Well, ran into another issue. Uh, come to find out, that spacer goes with the new engine, with the uh, newer intake manifold. The way I found this out is I went to connect this and the holes don't line up. 
just about the same thickness as that spacer. So now I gotta go back and undo everything I just did so that I can take that spacer out and then do it all again. <laughs> Hopefully these videos are helping you guys not make mistakes.